frequency to the pudendal nerve is a minimally invasive pain management procedure which is used uh, to treat patients who have vulvodynia. Um, generally, the treatment of vulvodynia starts with conservative treatment, so that's using medication, either systemic medication, tablets or topical medication. Um, if patients fail with medication, for example, if they get significant adverse effects or, or if the medication is not effective, then we may look at these minimally invasive pain management procedures. Um, for this particular uh, technique, it can be done as a day case uh, procedure. Um, patients come in to the hospital and we locate uh, the ischium, which is one of the bones in, in the pelvis, uh, using an ultrasound scanning machine. And uh, we clean up the area, we put a small amount of local anaesthetic into the skin. We then put a very, very thin um, radio frequency uh, probe down to the pudendal nerve. Um, we look at that on, under ultrasound, but then we stimulate the nerve. We put a very small electrical um, uh, current through the nerve to stimulate it. Now, this is not painful. This uh, it feels like a, a funny uh, pulsing sensation is how patients describe it. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that pulsing sensation in the area where they have the pain, where they have the vulvodynia pain. Um, and it may require some moving around of the tip of the probe until you find the branches of the pudendal nerve which specifically innovate or give nerve supply to that area which is, which is where the pain is. Once you've uh, found that area as accurately as possible, we will then put cycles of an electrical current which is called pulsed radio frequency through the nerve in order to try and reset it. Um, the important thing about pulsed radio frequency is, is a non-destructive type of treatment, a non-destructive electrical treatment. It doesn't cut the nerve, it doesn't burn the nerve, it doesn't injure the nerve in any way. What it's trying to do is it's trying to reset the nerve uh, and make it work properly. Um, once we've done that, we will tend to put uh, long-acting local anaesthetic and steroid around the nerve as well uh, to help as a nerve block, as a secondary sort of treatment. Um, in terms of the benefits and risks, the benefits of the procedure are pain relief. Uh, it takes about 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, the risks are minimal, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomforts. Uh, the main issue that people worry about is neuropraxia. That this is vanishingly rare, but we do have to warn patients that it is possible to uh, damage the pudendal nerve. Um, however, because the technique involves uh, anatomical landmarks to find the nerve, uh, using ultrasound, but most importantly using an electrical stimulation to, to locate the nerve, uh, the likelihood of actual damage to the nerve is extremely low. Um, the procedure is done as a day case procedure, um, so downtime is minimal. Uh, as we said, it can take approximately 10 to 14 days to work, and we tend to do it under some very light sedation just for um, comfort for the patient.